Hello and welcome back. So as you can see, I've got the entire uh, I guess water tub and uh, drivetrain assembly out and I took the belt off. It actually looks like it's in pretty good condition, but I'll probably replace it because I don't want to take the whole thing apart again, change the belt. Uh, motor looks fine, like I can spin it. You can see the, uh, it just keeps on going. It's, um, it's actually pretty smooth. So the bearings in that look like they're good and uh, Definitely the bearings in here that are bad. You ready? So I would expect that to keep spinning and it's it's very crunchy. So the bearings are toast. So I'm gonna take this assembly apart, figure out what's actually bad, but I'm probably gonna just replacing, you know, the whole everything in this line here. Um, it looks like there's a transmission in here. I don't know if it's got a mag clutch or what, but there's this little cable that runs back to it. So there must be a clutch in there of some kind. Probably allows it to agitate or, or something, or maybe it's got a two-speed gearbox. I don't know. Might be useful. The other cool thing is, I didn't realize it, but this has a three-phase AC induction motor in it. And uh, if we zoom in on here, and if we can get it to focus... Maybe. There you go. It says it's a 120 volt AC, 5.2 amp, three phase motor, and use in auto clothes washer only. <laughs> it's never stopped anybody. But it's got a little three phase motor controller down here. So you probably can't tell. You can't see in there, but um, there's a, I can see the bridge rectifier back there and the uh, capacitors for the um, bulk power supply and uh, if you, I don't know, you probably can't see but you can see the motor shaft, it goes through the circuit board and I'm spinning it but you can't tell it goes through the circuit board and it looks like there's an encoder on the other side of the circuit board so yeah, I don't know, if you ever needed a uh, three phase induction motor you'd probably pick one up out of one of these washing machines, really cheap and, um, well, it's not waterproof, so it probably wouldn't work very well in an electric vehicle, but, I don't know, accessory, blower, or, um, uh, I don't know what else you could use it for, air conditioning, maybe your power steering, <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it's, a uh, 5.2 amps, so, pretty decent, I mean, it slings around, like, an entire washer full of clothes, right, so anyways, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, bye.